We're talking about uh, current sensors that are meant to measure hundreds of amps. So anything more than 200, 300 amp, these sensors are really optimized for it. So this is tr how it's done traditionally. So you have the core where the field is concentrated. You have the bus bar where the current is going to flow. And then you have your linear sensor that goes in the gap of the core. And this is where you measure your magnetic field generated by the current flowing in the bus bar. This is a very good system. If you open any electric car, hybrid car right now on the roads, this is how they measure the current. One of the problems is these motors have at least three phases. Sometimes they have six. And you need to measure the current in each one of them. So again, some of the most popular hybrid electric cars would have three or more cores within them. So ideally, if you can eliminate the core, you'll make the system much smaller, uh, less expensive, less weight. Here we have the hull-based differential coreless sensor. It's based on hull. So it has a differential um, hull sensor. So we have a small TSOP 8 package that is 6.4 millimeter wide. And uh, this package sits right underneath the bus bar and it measures the, the magnetic field uh, generated by the current flowing within your bus bar. You don't need the core anymore. You're still getting very good performance. You're still getting all the immunity to external magnetic fields. And this way you can basically eliminate your core and get, get the high performance you're looking for to control your electric motor. If you compare it to other solutions on the market right now, um, all of them need a core or a shield or something to protect you from external field. This one does not. So you're truly coreless. You just have your bus bar and your sensor and you're, you're pretty much done.